Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fight Did It, a show where Anna and Saul, Pierre Corfuff, so we would not be end. <laughs> Wait, wait for John to I, do I, it. <laughs> no, I kept looking. For, I kept looking for the little red dot that said we were on, and I was uh, like, "No, you know, I, it's I immediate it. because since this is a this yeah, is yeah, okay, I thing. got you." So, so, Eugene, do you have any guidance coming out of UFC uh, 287? <laughs> I got a. I did a whole show on the guidance I have for them coming out of. What specifically are you looking for? <laughs> Just uh, the, 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 no, the high no, notes, no. low notes. No, no. Listen, listen. You know, I was what what, what I was gifted with this week was a, a photograph of a, a shirtless, uh, uh, abdominal inserted uh, 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 bald one, Dana White, in a hot tub with a, another man crouched down at about crotch level, also shirtless and and well muscled, having a conversation about their grinder accounts. I don't know. That's that start of my week. I'm sure you've seen the photo. Maybe not. Take a look for it. I, I can't tell you. And then there's a picture of uh, the Baldwin sitting there with Kid Rock and with the, and with the Donald. And Donald in Miami, look, he's just trying to get out of the house, bro. 34 hush money charges. Dude, is that home is not where he needs to be, wants to be at this point. It was so poorly planned that his dumbass son had to stand behind him. They didn't even have a chair for God. He had to stand. He's like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with him. Security, security for him. So all this stuff plus the WWE thing. I mean, this is if you haven't, it was almost worthy of a misty AF, except for the fact that they got the only game in town. It's not. It's a monopoly interest on if you like combat sports, man. It's still where the A list cats go. And so, like I said, I'm sticking around to make the bald one's life miserable. But the reality of it is that, you know, that has a really limited application when it's just horrible from every step of the way. And seeing Vince McMahon, the bald one, Dana White, Ari Emanuel, who clearly can do no wrong in the eyes of the investors, it just, you, you have realized that the whorehouse that you are, that you, where you have been finding pleasure, has actually turned into the world's worst whorehouse. It's it's disconcerting, and uh, I don't even think I'm going to derive any joy out of watching it burn to the ground, which inevitably it will. Um, but you know, it is uh, now at this point a reliable right wing voting block, and. Uh, and um, and uh, I I think it kind of sort of affected my desire, delight in seeing uh, in seeing uh, Izzy win. You know, there are no real individuals left in this. They're company men and people without jobs, and that's gonna not change with the future, and that sucks. Mm. How about you, John? <laughs> well. First of all, Jesus. Well, you know, when you <laughs> cough and you have the gravity voice, it gives you some gravitas. So I know. Uh, Here we go. Here we <laughs> go. Let me tell you. Walter Let me tell you, Mean, me tell you, mean Gene. <laughs> yeah. The Hulkster. When he meets the Crusher, the Crusher is going to. No, I don't know. But, uh, anyways, so I guess I, do. I I think I have more the the Bruiser. That's the Bruiser voice more. Yes. Me and the Crusher, yes. we're, gonna, we're gonna take on Baron Von Raschke and the Bad Life of Sean, and we're gonna destroy them. Yeah. He and him. So, anyway, <laughs> when you when you when you were born, your parents were happy. Your father wanted a boy, he was happy. Your mother wanted a girl, and she was happy. <laughs> That's blasting. That, that was blasting. For anybody, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying that people. This is the type of stuff you get with the bonus Patreon account. That's right. You don't there get you, the, you don't That's get right. these type of. Now voices. I'm gonna have to put it. Now I'm gonna have to put it on the Patreon <laughs> on the behind the paywall. There you go. No. <laughs> no, forget it. that's the free stuff. Look at the free stuff I give you. I'm not like Nate holding it back in a wall. Anyway, yeah. I, I forgot where I forgot we're going with this. Oh yes, yeah. Well, first of all, the UFC is obviously political. They try to what I what a, it wouldn't bug me that uh, that uh, Donald Trump's there and that uh, Masvidal does this whole pro-Trump thing, except for the fact that a year ago, Don, uh, Dana White specifically said, "There's no, no politics in the UFC. If you want mm -hmm. politics, turn the channel." <clears throat> and it's the hypocrisy that gets to me. The mm. hypocrisy and my no voice. That's the two things that get to me. So that's the part that gets me. But I, I'm not talking about something else because I get quicker. But the thing I want to talk about is Israel Adesanya's celebration towards the kid of uh, 
of a Pereira. And I thought that, you know what? It's it's so low, it's so sleazy, it's so wrong to taunt a kid, and yet it was so right. It was so good. I loved it. Then, I it loved was it. Amazing. And normally it's a you shouldn't taunt a kid, taunt a kid. But you know what? This is the fight business. If you've seen the type of degenerates in the fight business, if the worst they do is taunt a little kid who taunted them and hold that kind of grudge, that, that's a hell of a lot better than the Phil Baronis out there and all the other guys in the war machines. I'm willing to accept it. <coughs> it, it uh, me and Gene. <laughs> right well, and, you know, uh, it, it sets him up for a payday 20, yeah. 30 years from now, right? Because he can try to avenge his honor. No matter yeah, how yeah, good yeah. or bad he is, so like, he just has to wait for Izzy to hit that wall 20, 30 years from now and sign up that fight, show that footage. I'll pay so like, for it. It's like Kill hey, Bill. Man, or hey, exactly. Singer. There you go. Yes. Hey, man, listen. My, my first, One of my first jobs was as, as a lifeguard, and at one point the boss, the director of this whole place, came down to the pool, and I ended up punching some kid out. <laughs> and I... <laughs> I, I I thought, man, for sure I lost my job, but the kid was such an ass that the that they didn't fire me. It was an ama- amazing turn of events. Employee it, of the month. It, it, it couldn't have been. I'm a, I'm a lifeguard at a kid's camp, and I knock a kid out. It's like, what that's the it. fuck? But he was, look, he was out of control. He was out of control. He had it coming, and that's why they didn't fire me. But, yeah, yeah so I don't know. That's the best scene from you Bad know. Santa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, look, the kid, the kid's 13. He, you know, it was a teachable moment as far as that. And I knew immediately what was happening when he did it. He was like, eh, pointing in the audience. I go, here it comes. And he did it. I was so incredibly happy. Man. John, before uh, you tap out and we tap out, do you have any advice coming out of Endeavor pulling a Voltron with the Oopsie and WWE? I know you haven't. You weren't here last week when the news dropped, so mm-hmm. anything you have to add for that? Well, I guess you're going to cut a lot of WWE salaries, you know, the people, the, the crew. So we got that. I guess not much because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big win for them. It's an obvious win because they don't spend any money. It's a merger, so there's no money spent. They just merged on this bigger entity. <coughs> and now they have the ability to negotiate with these two very similar companies where the, the number one alternative to the UFC is WWE. The number one alternative to the WWE is UFC. So basically, they're, they're like, you have no alternative but to negotiate with both these at the same time. The one person I didn't see brought up is Brock Lesnar and every, every future Brock Lesnar's are probably the, the losers out of this because Brock mm. Lesnar was the highest paid guy in both promotions because he could play them against each other. Yep. He made $8 million at UFC 200. He made, like a, I suppose, just a, just a glorious deal with WWE. Just show up a few times because he could always threaten to go back to WWE. I mean, the UFC. Though, So, Gabe... Uh, uh, Gable... No, uh, uh, Gable guys, Stevenson. Guys. Gable Stevenson, I think. The U of M uh, wrestler. Gable Stevenson. In the future, he's not going to have that option because mm. you can't play them against each other. It's the same company. So that's the only option. That's the only thing I can do. I'm going to go to Bellator. Oh, yeah. You go to Bellator. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Eugene, anything to add? No, no. It's, it, it's uh, I mean, you know, John actually mentioned something that stands as aggressive, as an aggressive counterpoint to kind of what we have now. He mentioned Baron Von Reschke and, you know, Mean Gene Oakland. And this, in my mind, that maybe was the end of it and the beginning of it was Pork Chop and Chief J Strongbow mm. and all that. Like when you had real individuals from these regional promotions and that were just, um, pretty, pretty fantastic. And now it is, you know, it is some sort of right wing thunder down under thing that I just, I don't have any, I don't have any affection or feel for it anymore. And it's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. You know, the thing it's, is it's, wrestling. It's, 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 it's a self cleaning. It's a self cleaning oven at this point. Right. Well, it's funny you say that because in terms of what the people were like, because that was the draw of wrestling. It was a place where people that did, on the fringes of society that did not belong anywhere. Right, former yeah. football guys, guys that were uh, that were involved in bare knuckle. Right, that's the play. They couldn't fit anywhere, but the wrestling business, and that was lost. And the UFC kind of inherited that, but has even lost that. Well, even beyond that, you know, the three biggest sports in America for a long time have been boxing, boxing, baseball, and wrestling. 
you know mm -hmm. and uh when those guys start to say how are we going to make money doing this well we got to fight every night well how can we fight every night i'm talking about guys like luthez and yeah. carl gotch in the early days he said well we do these things called works because it's work and yep. uh you know who's going to decide and that was probably the beginning of the end the fact that they have people now being able to set wagers on WDE, wwe matches my god i please give me drop a pin on my phone so i can go to their houses and sell them bridges and sell them other national monuments cuz this has got to be the most st stupid thing ever well you and better go before the fire festival I guy gets the money yes exactly <laughs> exactly they'll donate to him too lord we'll be back next week with another installment of if i did it and we don't know what we're going to be talking about because of pr mistakes have yet to be made mean gene i gotta tell you this is the last <laughs> time i'm gonna i'm going that cage heenan is gonna be there really crippler stevens these guys. <laughs> that's all that people need to know yeah. <laughs>